Hello and welcome to Cocktails for the People. My name is Will Petrie and I hope that you're thirsty because today we're going to be getting into a new twist on an old classic with the Margarita Elote. The history of the margarita, like many cocktails, remains shrouded in mystery, with stories linking it to Rita Hayworth, Peggy Lee, and the Ziegfeld showgirl Marjorie King, among others. Although likely created in the United States, uh, margaritas are obviously associated with Mexico, with tequila as its anchoring spirit. And I wanted to highlight Mexico's culinary legacy, which meant refocusing the sweet element away from a traditionally French Cointreau or Grand Marnier and towards something indigenous to Mexico. And in doing so, I stumbled across the absolutely sublime Margarita Elote, and I can't wait to share it with you. For the Margarita Elote, you will need tequila blanco, mixed corn liqueur, and limes. Let's break it down. Tequila Blanco. So I admit I was not the biggest fan of tequila for a while, but that's because I was having bad tequila. It turns out the tequila you can afford in college may not be the best representative of what's out there. Try to find a tequila that's made from 100% blue agave and try to find a distillery that lets their blue agave mature for the full seven years. I love El Tesoro because they check off all those boxes and they even let their agave ferment with wild yeast and not commercially produced yeast. And that adds a really beautiful layer of terroir to their spirits. Nixta corn liqueur. Get into this. From the folks at Bodega Abasolo, we are blessed to have Nixta liqueur de elote, the world's first corn liqueur made from 100% cacao with lake corn. So corn lives at the heart of Mexico's culinary heritage. It is an ancient grain going back thousands of years, both as a cornerstone of civilization and a cultural symbol woven into the country's identity. So Bodega Abasolo next symbolized their corn and they blend it with water and piloncillo. It is an unrefined indigenous cane sugar and they have created a silky, not too sweet liqueur with notes of caramel, chili, and toasted nuts. Limes. Mexico is the world's largest producer of limes and fun fact, limes are great if you want to avoid getting scurvy. Let's make this drink. Your tools. You will need a cocktail shaker or mixing tins with a strainer, a jigger, a cutting board, a knife, and a juicer. So you at home may have a metal cocktail shaker. I'm gonna use a standard pint glass just so you can see what it is I'm doing. So cocktails 101. When you're building your cocktail, start with the cheap stuff. It may seem counterintuitive. You're making a tequila cocktail. Why not start with the tequila? But the point I wanna impress upon you is that if you mess up halfway through and you gotta dump out your ingredients, you'll be less upset about dumping out some lime juice than if you were tossing out some high quality hooch. Let's start with one ounce of the lime juice and make sure to use fresh lime juice ideally squeezed just before making your cocktail. One ounce of the Nixta, and one ounce of the Tequila Blanco. So fill the shaker or pint glass with ice. Cover it up with a metal tin and shake. And the rule of shaking is you want to shake until the tins are a little too cold to hold. So fill your rocks glass with ice. Strain your cocktail on in. And garnish with a glorious piece of lime. And there you have it. The Margarita Elote, my love note to Mexico. Oh God, that's good. Thank you so much for tuning into Cocktails for the People. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you've made your own Margarita Elote, and we can't wait to see you next time. Cheers.